Hi everyone, I hope you're all well. Welcome back. I thought today I would do a summer capsule wardrobe suggestions video. Um, I did it for winter as well. So if you're currently in the Southern Hemisphere when you're watching this video, I will link that video up in the corner for you. But today we are talking a very British summer. Um, also the fact that I am wearing a full on jumper <laughs> when I'm recording this video shows that we really need versatility here in the summer capsule wardrobe. Obviously, if you were going somewhere a little bit sunnier and perhaps a little bit more guaranteed with the good weather, you wouldn't need as many layering options. But I've really tried to think about layering, actually keeping warm, but then also keeping cool enough on those like five days of absolutely boiling heat that we get every summer. And I have picked 22 pieces out of my wardrobe that I think would be perfect if you're trying to create like a very condensed edit, whether that is thinking about adding some new things to your wardrobe, or maybe you wanna take your current wardrobe and like create a little capsule to play around with for the season ahead. Here is what I would suggest. Everything will be linked down below for you, as always, with dupes where possible, but let's get cracking. Okay, I have a jacket suggestion because like, let's be realistic here. <laughs> You're probably gonna need a jacket at some point. It was a very close race between this and my Max Mara vintage jacket, you know, like my cream sort of swing one that I wear all the time. That genuinely is one of the best things I have ever ever purchased it's thin enough to kind of layer all year round except for like the really really cold months and it's just really floaty and i love that but this is equally gorgeous um i picked this up from vestier and it's a totem linen blazer um and i went for this one in the end just because i thought perhaps you're looking for something a bit more work wary i guess in the summer when you need like a jacket you're thinking more evening perhaps um, and I just really love the fit of this, I love the style of this, and I genuinely, I can't believe I didn't have a linen blazer in my wardrobe. It's perfect for the summer months. So adding this in as my layering, let's be realistic about this piece. <laughs> I also threw in a jumper. I know, <laughs> call me crazy. I just don't like to be cold. I really don't like to be cold. I'd rather be a little bit too warm, if anything. And again, just like, evenings or maybe it's like a little bit chilly like we live near the beach which you think like oh my gosh the beach super super warm actually you get the breeze it's always like a little bit cooler by the coast and then sometimes i go up to london and i'm like oh my word it's so hot up here i've just gone for this from marquette this is just an oversized cashmere jumper perhaps a little bit too thick maybe if you had a thinner knit in your collection it might be a little bit more appropriate for a summer capsule but even if it's just to layer over your shoulders layer over a vest with some like linen shorts you know something you can take off a little bit later in the day when perhaps you don't need it but i just find myself reaching for jumpers pretty much year round okay i will admit that the top section of this video is a little bit uninspired but that is kind of on purpose just because in the summer i basically cycle through three different types of tops and that is like tank tops t-shirts and oversized linen shirts. I feel like the jazz in my wardrobe during the summer is added by the occasional dress and switching up the bottom half option to something that isn't necessarily denim. You will see, I have a little bit of denim in here, but I feel like the twist on the basic options are kept more to the bottom half for the summer for me anyway. So I would suggest <laughs> three oversized linen shirts. I mean, why not? Maybe you just wanna go for the white and the black, but I also threw in the oatmeal-y, beige -y color, just cause I love this one as well. And actually out of the three, I probably wear this one the most. These are from Arquette, they're the oversized linen shirts. I have them in, oh, different sizes actually. One's a 36, one's a 38, and one's a 40. <laughs> I thought they were all the same size. That just shows they're a very oversized fit. You can afford to be a little bit wrong in your sizing there because the sizing is very giving. Um, but I personally love these either tucked in to some denim. But I also love the matchy matchiness of these. I'm skipping ahead a bit here, but the shorts with the shirt is just such a cool look with some big chunky sandals. Or maybe you wanna go for the black with something a bit more fun on the bottom half and either tuck it in or kind of roll it up and do a little tie in the front or wear a racer back tank with this and then these act as more of your like jacket. I don't know, I feel like they always feel like quite 
a boring purchase, but for me they're very much a staple in my wardrobe and I can wear them in so many different ways and whenever I'm a bit like, oh gosh, I've just got nothing to wear, I don't know what to wear, I go for these. I see across some jeans, even some like denim shorts would look really nice with these and I'm sorted. Continuing on with the Arquette basics theme, <laughs> which I feel like whenever I do a wardrobe video, it's basically what the video ends up being, but just their crew neck t-shirts. They're simple crew neck t-shirts are a favorite for me. I just got one here in the black and one here in the off-white. I almost went for the white as well. And then I was like, this feels a bit extreme. <laughs> for me, I tend to wear the shirts or the tank tops more, but I do like having a t-shirt option there. Again, good with like the linen shorts or linen trousers underneath and just a good layering piece. I felt like I couldn't do a summer capture or wardrobe suggestion without putting in just a simple crew neck. You don't need me to tell you the ways to style them. Like, you know, they're a classic. I have a slight addiction to the Arquette ribbed racer back tees. Um, I have three in my collection. I wear these in a medium and I've got the black the khaki and then the white as well. Oh, the black and the white again, such a classic. The black with these like silky pajama trousers just screams like 90s chic to me. But then also the white with the denim, like, I don't know. I could happily wear this all summer. I never used to wear like racer tanks or any tanks at all because I didn't like my arms. And now I'm at the point where I'm just like, it's warm and I'm hot and I'm sweating and these keep me nice and cool. And I don't really care about my arms. They're coming out. We will move on to something that isn't Arquette in a moment, I promise, but the Arquette Linen Collection. It is ultimate. It's brilliant. If you're into it, I would really recommend like buying a set. So either going for shorts and an oversized shirt or trousers and an oversized shirt, because like I said, the fat, the matchy matchiness, I really love the head to toe linen look. Not only is it Super practical for the summer, you're gonna be cool. You're not gonna be sweating your boobies off. <laughs> it just looks really nice, really put together and you don't have to think about your outfit. But as I've just gone through here, there's so many different ways you can wear it with either matching tops or just t-shirts, vest tops and like layering it up with the blazer, the jumper, the oversized shirt over the top. So I have all options in my actual wardrobe. But I went for the black long trousers. I feel like I wear the black long trousers and the black oversized shirt more than I do the shorts. But for some reason, I seem to wear the oatmeal coloured shorts with the matching top more. So I went for these two options, but they're just so comfortable. I would actually recommend sizing down in these. I'm definitely more of a medium in our care. But I have these in the small. I'd say the trousers especially do come up quite large, so just a little sizing tip for you there. But I don't think I would ever go on a summer holiday without having some kind of linen bottom half option in my suitcase. A skirt, finally, the only skirt that exists in my wardrobe. I'm pretty sure that's true. Yeah, I, I don't own another skirt, but the realization part, Wild Things, my own me skirt, is, is, is just beautiful. It's wonderful, I absolutely love it. I have this in a small. Again, something worth sizing down in. I do find it tends to come up quite large. <sighs> what can I say about this skirt? I just absolutely love it. Is it like the fourth summer I would have had this in my wardrobe? I love it. This length, obviously a really nice high waist midi skirt, but I do also enjoy rolling it over. I've done this for years, just rolling it up like when I was at school to create a mini skirt. I did back in the day also own the mini skirt option when they came out with that. I was like, oh, perfect. That's exactly what I need. But I found it just to be a little bit too short. And I like that with this, you've kind of got that option of having it as short as you want. I don't know. But for me, this will always be in my wardrobe. I love it. It's just the perfect leopard print. And I would happily wear this with any of the top half options I've got here. Now, these are from Arquette and these might seem like a bit of an out there choice compared to everything else that I've got here, but I've gone so basic with so many things in this capsule. I was like, you have to have some fun bits just to like add a little bit of something, something. Um, and these are really fun. They're from Arquette and I think they're called their crinkle satin trousers, something like that. They're coming up quite pale and goldy on the camera, but in real life, they're almost like a really, really pale lime green. They've got pockets and elasticated waist. I'm wearing them in a 40. They're quite a high waist fit, 
so 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 comfortable and like i said there's just something a bit 90s about them i don't know very summery very cool to wear i wore them to london and i was like look at me wearing my gold kind of satin trousers they make you feel good they have that like luxe feel to them and i thought they'd be a good one to throw in just so you've got more options that feel a little bit more eveningy, feel a bit high end and yeah just to give you an option in here for if you were going out out i think these would be really fun with like a ribbed racer tank and then some of the shoes i'm going to share with you so yeah i really like these a good one if you're going oh say you're going to like mykonos or something this summer i feel like these need to be in your suitcase i have thrown in some denim because let's be real and let's face it i wear denim all year round i'm quite often the one found like sweating in the corner in my jeans whilst everyone else is like wearing a dress or a skirt and I'm like I refuse to take off my jeans. Um, these are from Mango and they're their Nora jeans. I'm wearing them in a 40, so I think that's a UK 12. And these are really similar to the Topshop Raw Hem straight leg jeans. I think that's what they were called, um, that I just absolutely loved that sadly don't fit me anymore, but they were brilliant. They were a really good summer denim because they were quite thin, like these, a stretchy they're a thin denim they're not a very like thick vintage feel like classic denim they're very thin and there isn't much to them but actually that's kind of what you need during the summer you don't want these really like heavy trousers you want something comfortable and these are exactly those they have that high waist that the top shop do they also have a button fly which i really like i always think a button fly over a zip fly just looks a bit more authentic and really nice. Um, they're very, very, very long. They've got the raw hem on the bottom, but they are a wide leg fit. So they just give that relaxed look, like these with the white racer tank and there's some big chunky sandals or like these with the oversized linen. I don't know, they just give that really nice relaxed fit. So probably not an option for like going out in the evening or like workwear or anything like that, but just a very nice, chilled out kind of vibe to them and i really really like these they look great on the bum as well okay we have two dresses i know i'm definitely not the biggest dress person but actually last summer i think i really started to see the value in dresses especially if you're going to be quite pregnant this summer dresses will become your new best friend they're definitely the most comfortable thing um i wore this a load and i think i will wear this a load this summer as well this is from arquette and it's just their sheared midi dress it's got that sheared middle so is great if you're having quite a fluctuating weight moment or like things are going on with your boobs <laughs> this is great and very comfortable and accommodating for that and then it just it's just like a midi kind of dress it's got pockets it's very, very comfortable. It, it's not like mind blowing in the shape or the silhouette or anything like that. It's just one of those pieces that when it's really, really, really warm, this is like all you can stomach touching your body. And I totally understand that and now get that. And I think if you were going away somewhere really, really, really warm, this would be a brilliant one to have with you. Um, it has got these little tie straps, which makes it really adjustable. However, you could just like tuck them in if you wanted to do a strapless moment and then maybe it would feel a little bit more eveningy. I don't know. But I finally get it and I wore this dress a load and it's not going anywhere. <laughs> then I picked out this one which is from Base Range and this is their shawl kaftan wrap dress I think. Um, I wore this a load last year. Very accommodating of a big old bump as well. It's definitely a little bit thicker than obviously like the Arquette, which is just pure, very thin, breezy cotton. And um, this has a very like oversized sleeve and it's almost more of a sweater material. So perhaps not something to wear on those days when you're like, oh my gosh, I'm going to melt. But in those real transitional moments that we'll have like this month and then like in September, this is a really, really nice one to wear. And I just see so many people just rocking it online and looking absolutely wonderful in it. I can't remember what size I have. I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> but it's very billowing, it's very breezy. Um, perhaps if you were going away and it was somewhere that was a little bit windier or like chillier in the evenings, this would be a really good one. But I just thought it was nice to add a little bit of something different to like everything else that we've got here. And um, yeah, just wanted to bring it to your attention because I really, really love this dress. 
desperately trying to find the black one in stock. <laughs> then finally, on to accessories. Um, I have two bags, and I really, really thought about these bags. I thought two options for bags is like what you need. You need like a practical bag, and then maybe a little kind of fancy, more formal, evening out, you're on holiday kind of bag. So let's talk about that one first, actually. This is the Alien Nina rope bag. I get asked about this all the time, so I've had it for a few years now. People ask me if I can wash it. Yes, I do. Whenever it gets dirty, I just throw it in the washing machine. It's brilliant. And you can fit quite a decent amount in there. It doesn't look like it, but I promise that you can. I've worn this to weddings and been able to like fit everything I needed for the day in it. And I just like that you've got a slightly longer strap or you can half it and do more of a little baby like over the crook of the arm strap as well. Um, so yeah, this is definitely the fun option. It's very squishable and easy to pack as well. So I like that. You're probably not gonna be wearing this like day to day, but it's definitely a nice evening option. Whereas this is your practical option. This is from LM and this is their raisin raffia bag. Again, one that I've had for a good couple of years now. And I almost picked a gigantic straw bag. I love my huge straw bag. So good for if you're going on holiday. I was thinking actually that one, it's, it's just massive. It's so good for the beach. It's really good for hand luggage. But if you were sort of actually needed just a bag for the summer or a bag for taking to work, but then also taking on holiday, I'm not sure that would be the best option. Whereas I feel like this is so versatile. It's a really decent size. It almost reminds me of the puzzle, the Loewe puzzle in a way. I don't know why, because they're slightly different shapes, but there's something about the versatility of it and almost how you carry it that's quite similar. You've basically got this little carry strap on the top, so you can just carry it, put it on the crook of your arm, all that sort of business. But I love that you have this strap as well. It just makes it really versatile and you can have it sort of at hip height or you can have it longer and have it crossbody as well. So yeah, I don't know. I just think it's a really versatile one. I find myself reaching for this a lot during the summer. Okay, I've got three pairs of shoes, I'd say, Probably your most worn is gonna be a chunky leather or pleather sandal. Basically a Chanel dad dupe. These are from Mango, sadly no longer available. I think I got them last summer and they're fab. They're like the best dupe that I have found, but I have got other dupes up my sleeve for you, so I'll make sure they're linked down below. They're comfortable, they're practical. They will go with any outfit that you've got here, like guaranteed there are no trousers or dresses or shorts that I wouldn't wear with these, whenever I'm stuck, I'm like, oh, I don't know what shoes to wear. These are the shoes that I reach for. I really undernard about whether to include these because I feel like there's actually a few options that I've got here as like a bottom half option that I wouldn't necessarily wear with the loafers, but there are a few that I really do like with the loafers, especially if it's like a longer trouser. So like the mango jeans, the Arquette black linen trousers, I really like these. Um, they're just Arquette suede loafers. I'd say if you're more of a trouser person during the summer, then a suede loafer is gonna come in really handy for you. However, if you're more of a skirt wearer or a dress wearer, then maybe they're just not gonna be the right shape. You might find they just look a bit strange. They're not the most like flattering. But if you like trousers like me, I get a lot of wear out of a shoe like this during the summer. So these are kind of a little optional add-on. But going back to my thinking about the bags and that you wanna have one that's super practical and then one that's a little bit more fun, I've tried to think about that with the sandals. So obviously your Chanel dad like mango dupes, they are practical ones. They're the ones that you're reaching for every day without even thinking about. But you just might want a, little, you might want a fun option, a little fun option. These, the Lock Ara sandals, they are fun. And there are so many good high street dupes for them. I will link some of them down below for you. But they're just a pinky tan, leather sandal that has this very cool strap that goes around your ankle and they're just so flattering and they look so gorgeous with the dresses I've got here, with the skirt I've got here, but then also I wear them a lot with like the linen shorts. I don't know, they just have the ability to really dress up an outfit. They're so good for evenings out, but they're also quite comfortable as well. If I was going on holiday, I would, I would never take heels with me, like a big skyscraper heel, but I would take these. So. They're very easy to pack, they're very small and compact, and I just get a lot of use out of them. So I was like, I feel like I 
these need to be part of the summer capsule. Okay, the sun, it's finally coming out a little bit, a tiny little slither. This has basically been <laughs> my sun dance, um, but hopefully you enjoyed this video. It's inspired you to create a little summer capsule wardrobe of your own, or perhaps just giving you some ideas of a bit of a packing list. If you're going anywhere anytime soon, I will link everything down below and also format the description box as a little bit of a packing list as well to um, help you out with that. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you soon for a new one. Bye.